Franklin. Today is primary runoff day in South Carolina, and voter turnout has been low. Sadly, News 19's Rachel Rip joins us now live tonight with the details. She's joining us in Richland County. Hey, Rachel. Hey Darcy, hey JR. I am here at a new location in Richland County. We're at Brennan Elementary and I just spoke to some of the poll workers out here. They tell me it's been a pretty constant trickle of people coming out throughout the day. Now they say that this community, this neighborhood adjacent to the elementary school is primarily retired people. So that post work rush of people that we typically see during elections didn't really impact them. They still have a few people coming here in and out. But South Carolina elections officials tell me there's been 9% voter turnout here at this specific location, which is still, like I said, pretty low, about 207 voters. And according to the South Carolina Election Commission, it's been low turnout all around the state as well today. They say for primaries, about 100,000 people showed up to vote in South Carolina with about two weeks of early voting. And for the runoffs with only three days of early voting, about 25,000 have showed up. Now I spoke with a few voters about why they're out here today. One father I spoke with says South Carolina is in desperate need of education leadership. And he wanted to also show his daughter the democratic process. Well, I just picked her up from a camp and thought it'd be nice for her to get to see voting and experience that uh, and just demonstrate to her the importance of making sure that we take time to pick our leaders. I think Anytime there's somebody up for election, we need to vote. We all need to vote. Or we're not going to have a country run the way we want to if we don't vote for the right people. Now, those polls are going to be closing in just an hour. So if you haven't made your way out to a polling location yet, you can cast your ballot still. There's still time for that. So. Uh, for now, we're going to have more election coverage uh, throughout this evening and reporting live in Richland County. I'm Rachel Ripp, News 19 WLTX.